Hello, everybody, and uh, thank you for bearing with us while we were dealing with some technical issues. Um, welcome to Press Play, where the press, you're never going to guess this part, comes to play. Uh, this is a live stream that is the Washington Post, where the Washington Post video game team, Launcher, um, plays video games. We do it every Friday at 4 p.m. ET. And uh, I'm Nathan Grayson. I'm a video game reporter at the Washington Post. Today, I'm, dis I'm joined by two of my esteemed colleagues, um, Gene Park, who many of you probably know, and the newly arrived Taylor Lorenz. Uh, say howdy, folks. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Gene. I'm, I'm back on cam. Uh, I got my glass of water here. Uh, I, I've taken my bouquet of medications, and I'm feeling great for the next hour or so. And I'm ready to play some Elden Ring with Taylor. Well, I, I don't, Taylor doesn't have the game yet, um, so we're just going to kind of watch me play um, the intro. But hey, Taylor. It, I'm excited. It's been so fun to be here. I have two stories this week and one story on Monday, so... Man, be... yeah, that's <laughs> pretty. It's better than my first week. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, mean, like... I still haven't even finished my Elden Ring review. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game. That's my review. Nice. You should play it. Um, yeah, I mean, like, quickly before we dive into it, just to go a little further into that, um, Taylor, how has your first week been? You you published, you know, a a scoop today already, which is very impressive. But yeah, I mean, how's it been so far? Um, it's been really good. Everyone is really nice. Um, it's been good. I mean, it was actually a bad week earlier in the week. I was having kind of a breakdown over media Twitter, but, uh, then it's actually fine. <laughs> mm. I was so stressed. I haven't, you know, it's funny cause like I've, I've switched jobs a lot as a millennial journalist, you know, it's like, I never, it's not like I've been at one job for 10 years, but it's still kind of nerve wracking, like starting a new job. And I think it's even more disorienting when you're not going into an office and you're mm -hmm. just kind of starting remotely because you don't really have a sense of things. Um, but it's been great and it's been so fun. And I'm so I've been like, I've been a long time Washington Post person forever because my sister used to work here and um, I like have That's a ton right, of friends. Your have sister. <laughs> and my grandmother grew my grandmother was in DC forever and so like we grew up like reading the Washington Post. So it's like I just feel it's like the one place that I'm like, oh my god, this is actually cool that I like work here. <laughs> <laughs> so I know. Taylor and I have been friends. Taylor was one of my first friends when I moved to DC. Um I was a social media editor at Post and Taylor uh I think was about to start working at the Hill in, in a similar role. So uh, we, we got we got along famously, and it was like, damn, when are we gonna finally work together? Because like Taylor had worked with so many of my coworkers as well. Um, so I, just... there's a lot of coworkers of mine at the Washington Post. I was like, because I people that I worked with the did the Daily Mail are here, like mm -hmm. Jennifer Hassan, mm -hmm. um, and then my colleagues at the Hill. Mm -hmm. A couple of them are here, so mm -hmm. it's a small media world, you know. Yeah, it is a small media world. It kind of becomes a game of musical chairs after a point. I, I think with, you know, media and maybe the state that it is these days, it's kind of inevitable that people are like, well, all right, time to go to this next place and this next like, one. And is then... it like a game of media thrones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Like, Circling okay, around like, like some Elden Ring or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's like all right, well, the stream is over. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, if we want to get into the game, um, I, I have an idea for how we can do this. Mm -hmm. I think we can choose your own adventure this. I think yeah. with Taylor not knowing anything about this game, really, aside from what she's seen on social media, mm -hmm. you Taylor, you should make all the choices. Taylor, you should cho choose. Yeah. Which, right. which of these which guys? Class, which, which looks cool? The Vagabond, okay. the Warrior? Where do I see it? I don't see anything. I know. Mm. Oh, um, okay. Gene is sharing his screen on Discord, so you should be able to see what he's yeah. doing or turn turn on the stream on youtube okay i'll just turn the stream on on youtube with sound okay off. uh word of warning there's a pretty big delay oh okay it should, it should be like 10 seconds so well i don't see um hmm. choices taylor you should cho choose yeah. which, which, oh, no. which <laughs> oh there's my voice sorry <laughs> no it's all good um wait no gene it says watch stream up on the top left yeah oh click that i see it all right i see it now oh on the discord yeah, nice. yes 
which one should we be? Oh, wait, are these the only, where's the women? Um, so, so any of these can be women, uh, type A or type B. Uh, the, 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 that's you know, the, the, that's the gender. So, so very, <laughs> very progressive stuff here where it's not, it's just like type A or type B body, you know? Yeah. So I mean, the, definitely the, the getting outside of the gender the, binary by renaming the gender binary. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> gender binary like, is, is yeah, just calling the binary by another binary, but you know, so left it, left would be the more masculine and the right would be the, the femme. Um, right, wait, let's keep going and see the what else. Vagabond, we're... warrior, hero, bandit, astrologer, prophet, samurai, prisoner, confessor, or just naked. <laughs> Wretch. <laughs> That's funny, but I feel like, you know, we got to keep it a little more formal here. I'm going to go with astrologer. Oh, nice. Good Somehow Brad. I thought. And we'll I go with type B, yeah? Be. Yeah. We'll go femme. Oh, yeah. We're going to call this Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> Let's call it Taylor the Reds. It's my name. Yeah. Now, do we want to make this character like, like what do we Young. want to do with B? So the game starts you off by giving you uh, different gifts or whatever. Just go with Golden Seed because that will give you more uh, health potions to drink. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Somebody in chat just said Taylor is going to make the most OP build by accident. Well, I mean, we can do that right now. So uh, Taylor, what kind of hair do you want? So yeah, we can make like a we can make someone look pretty funky here too, and I think we should. It's very important to make a funky looking character. I want long though, long, 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 long hair. What, what, Wait, short hair. Taylor, is that your hairish? Maybe or maybe this. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no, is... it's a little bit wavier, right? Yeah. No, I, the other one was better. I like the long one. Yeah. How about this one? No, no, no ponytail. Oh, yeah. You like that one? Yeah. It's like yeah. Long. Cool. Okay. I like this side bang, evil. And hair color. Black. Brown. Brownish. Yeah. Luster. Okay. Well, I don't know if we should spend too much time on the. This is getting, this is getting know, right? like uh, highly customizable. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, it's, I, it's pretty wild. I did this um, metaverse premiere of this movie like a week ago, and it was really it was really cool. Um, but I joined, and it gave me this weird default avatar, and everyone else had like highly customized their avatar, and I was just like. <laughs> man <laughs> and i was like ah, hi and yeah i was like damn you guys all spent like 10 minutes customizing your avatars i was just like let me in that's metaverse rules you, you, you got to spend at least an hour uh customizing uh the uh your look so but we did not do that right now we just gave taylor a long ponytail and uh some magic abilities so one thing important to note about a classes at the beginning of Elden Ring is that it really doesn't matter much. It really just depends on, on how you play the game afterwards. Yeah, so the, the character that we made for you will be defined by her journey. She doesn't need to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Hey, yeah, it's like a full, oh man. And Taylor, if you don't know, this the the lore of this game was written co-written by George R. R. Martin, the creator of Game of Thrones and Song of Ice and Fire. Mm -hmm. Wow! So I've never seen a Game of Thrones. <laughs> my, wow! You know, one of those shows that like you know when you miss one season of a show and you're like, oh, I'll finish catching it later. And then I absorbed so much of it from the internet that I know everything that happened, and I just never made it through all the seasons. I watched the first season and I was like, you know what? This is just not for me. So, really? So, we have two people here who have not seen all of Game of Thrones or even maybe any of it or much of it. Mm -hmm. wow. I think it looks oh, this is so interesting. <laughs> One day I'm going to watch it all. Like, when I'm really desperate and COVID, COVID season, you know, five or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, no, which will which have more seasons in the end COVID or Game of Thrones? That's yeah. the real cliffhanger. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Dark times. Yeah, no, there, there's one bit, like, the, the lore in this game, I think, does not really resemble Game of Thrones at all. Um, I mean, like, George R. R. Martin, I guess, like, his involvement was pretty early on. So, like, instead of being involved consistently throughout the development of the game over the course of, like, the past, you know, five, six years, he was there, like, four years ago. And then he mm -hmm. just kind of pieced. 
I mean, I think by design, he didn't just like disappear. That would be really funny though. If he was like, sorry folks, I got no pages again. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. no. Yeah, he actually wrote this a couple of years ago and then like they were sending him concepts of like creatures and monsters and he was like, cool. So he, um, he was like, cool. We just need to call one of them the loathsome dung eater who will show up soon, I think. Now, I actually think that the, this game does have some, well, we'll talk about it later after. The so narrator is about to pop off right now. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna, okay. He's, he's about to go crazy right now. Ah, uh, yes. The call of long lost race speaks to us all. For a chieftain of the Badlands, he's ever brilliant in his own. Here it comes. Yes. My son. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. The dumb eater. Notably, like the narrator hates him. <laughs> like the lonesome dung eater. <laughs> He goes hard on the dung eater and Sir Gideon off near the all knowing. And like too. that that's rough too because the dung eater already has a hard life. Like he eats dung. Does he yeah. really need someone coming at him like that? And one other. It's Taylor. Whom <laughs> Taylor, this is Taylor getting the job at WAPO. <laughs> <laughs> nice. A, a, a reporter of no renown. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> she has no followers on TikTok. <laughs> the, land between. Mm, the the lands between social media platforms, to be clear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this is Taylor back on Tumblr. That's what that's what it means. Yeah, back in the day. Because Taylor, you started on Tumblr. That was your the the, the beginning, the genesis of your social media uh, 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 journey, right? Kind of. Yeah, saved my life, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mm. the beginning of my internet life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Before that, I was miserable. <laughs> I never actually saw your Tumblr. I, 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 I know so much of your work, but I never saw your Tumblr. What? Really? Oh, my main Tumblr is like still up. I mean, I had like 80 Tumblrs, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. But... All right, yeah. so here's Taylor. GG. Let's go. <clears throat> Wait, it's yeah. so. I want to be able to control it. I know. Well, we'll get you the game, uh, uh, and maybe we can play together. You know. I gotta get a gaming PC. My friend keeps trying to um, talk me into getting one. Yeah, man. So it's a, it's a good investment, and you you can just turn like a. And I think about Wapo is that you know you can like move around within the organization. You can just join Launcher. I mean, yeah. I know you just started your new job, but honestly, who cares? Like, just come to Launcher. We're better. <laughs> all right so all of these games uh this game comes from a lineage of games called souls or dark souls and all of these games always start off with a big enemy that you're kind of supposed to lose to at the beginning uh -huh. um to, to teach you that this game is going to be hard yeah and uh, this one especially i when when i was playing because this is my first one of these kinds of games and mm -hmm. so i just came out here and got immediately it's super like oh no mad. taylor's hr watch out i like rolled twice and then got <laughs> it's hr obliterated. it's it's a drug test oh no yeah the thing about this though is that gene is actually good at this game so i mean like he is he's performing very admirably so far the can, when, can, when can, i fought this boss the Crazy fight was it? already over like 10 seconds ago. Can, can Taylor yeah. beat the, the tutorial boss? Oh boy. Yeah. I got no heals, I forgot. It's, oh yeah. Is it a robot? Huh? No, it's a big spider person. No, it's it's a person with a bunch of arms grafted onto him. Oh yeah, yeah, because like the, the Elden Ring is made of fingers. It's oh like, no. There's, there's a lot of like limbs and grafting Out of magic. stuff in the game story. All right, all right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's hand to hand. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, yeah. I lost. We lost. All right. What? So we have to start again? No, we've started no, the real no. beginning of the game, basically. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, so that was like the prologue. The the prologue in all these games is you getting just absolutely smashed. Yeah. <laughs> and then the game basically saying, okay, so this is how it's always going to be. You're going to lose a lot until you win. Yeah. 
I did. I, that wasn't a bad run for the tutorial boss. No kidding. Um, yeah. I've never been. I've never beaten it raw like that before. Uh, so far, so. Yeah, but you have cheesed it, right? I have cheesed it totally. <laughs> All right, we'll just we'll just skip this part. Yeah, it's just like you waking up. Yeah, I'm like uh. Up. All right, so, um, Taylor. Oh, um, me. Okay, okay. Yes, where yes. Sh where should we go? Uh, where should we go? Yeah, look at the screen. Tell me where should we go. I'm trying to Google to learn uh, hacks about this game right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be spending like a week. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be all right, all right. I'll go in blind. I'll go in blind. Go in yes. blind. Um, Perfect. Go go straight. Uh-huh. Like, this go is... up that ramp. Let's go up the ramp. All right, let's go All up right. the ramp. Yeah, wait, what's in that? Or Wait, I'm going to turn the brightness up here. Oh, it's kind of dark. Wait, what's in that yeah. little chest? Can we get some stuff there? Or something? Is there, like, loot? It's right here. Yeah, there's a guy. So a everybody misses this guy. This is the, this is the tutorial of the game. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. They, this is, like, the ultimate comedy. Yeah. Because, like, so... the, the game... Like in the way that it signposts this stuff, the visual language of this is is nutty, right? Because in most video games, they'd be like, all right, the tutorial is here, go here, learn how to play the game. In Elden Ring, the tutorial is in a hole that seems like it would kill you if you stepped into it. And in the start of the game, in which if you don't do the tutorial, you'll have no idea what you're doing, is up these nicely lit stairs with this pretty tree. Mm -hmm. It's like one of these tells you, come here, it'll be great. That's and the exactly other one tells you, you'll die. And the one that tells you you'll die is the one that teaches you how to play the video game. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. So we just all right, jump. Well, you guys know. Oh, all right, we'll do it. We'll do we'll do we'll do the tutorial real quick. It'll be fast. This is pretty. It is pretty. It'll get prettier. We'll get to the pretty part real quick. Hold on. We'll just show people how to play the game. So we lock on. We stab this guy in the back. Oh no, the cinematic effects are on. I hate them. There you go. Oh really? Yeah. What are Man, I, I should actually I should turn this off. They 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 change they they shake the camera, and, and it's like we don't need to do that. Just yeah. kill. Yeah. Just just, ta just Taylor just wrecking through. I mean, all the all the haters and the replies. Just... <laughs> um. Yeah, and also these enemies are just like so sad to me. They're like these weird like um, dehydrated worm people. Mm -hmm. When you encounter them in the main game world, they barely even like attack you. They're just like, please leave me alone. I'm very no. old. <laughs> yeah, everyone in this game is like pretty sad. And then you have to kill them. Yeah. Oh, hey, Jordan, oh, how's wow. it going? Jordan Knowles in chat right now. Oh, Jordan. Jordan, what's up, dude? Yeah, he said touch grass for XP, which, <laughs> you know, I agree. Touch grass. Yeah, no, that's also maidens. why I'm level one, because I've we never have, done we it. We have a maiden in, in the stream right now. It's Taylor. Taylor Taylor, will, <laughs> is, Taylor is playing the role of maiden right now. I am wow. a maiden. Mm -hmm. And yet, somehow, paradoxically, at least according to the game, you are still maidenless. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Mm hmm. You basically have to kill all these guys. Yeah. But yeah, no. If Elden Ring is about anything, it is about killing a near endless procession of guys. So the story is in this land, uh, the Elden Ring is like the, the, the natural order of things. And uh, something happened to the death part of the Elden Ring. And now nobody is allowed to die and everyone everyone is in pain. And uh, we're basically here. Oh, I got lost for a second there. I mean, and it really is a lot like being online. It is it's basically <laughs> the same. No one is allowed to die and everyone's in pain. Whoa, why is this guy... Yeah, no one's allowed to log off and everyone's just, just hurting. It's just an eternal cycle of takes and... Backstabs. <laughs> Would you rather be hurting online or hurting alone? In your Ooh. I think, I, I think I'd rather be hurting online, actually, Taylor, right? I don't know. Man, just demolishing this poor guy. I, yeah, I forgot I that the game regarded this character as a boss. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. That was rough. I'm actually gonna die. Nah. Boom, there you go. Nice. Get a little guard counter there. Enemy fell. Enemy fell. <laughs> and we're right back at the start. Oh, great. Yep. Wait, so it just puts you through a little loop? Yep, just puts you through a little loop to teach you how to play the game. Mm hmm. Now That's we're gonna go through the pretty ramp. Alright, now that we've. 
got the hang of things. Mm -hmm. So Taylor, uh, you and I used to play Fortnite for a bit, right? Yeah. Huh. Well, I played Fortnite on my phone, and I then know. I got a. Switch. I'm, but I I like playing on the Switch. Um, Fortnite's really the only game I I play. Hmm. She was actually pretty good at it. Did y'all get any uh, victory royales? Oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We were we will play with Jordan uh, if he's still in chat, uh, and Jordan would be the first to admit this, but he is sweaty as hell. So you know, he, he, Jordan yeah. carried the team, and I would sort of hide in the bushes until the end, and then come out. I would also do the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, because um, it's like a game where it's like good to just let everyone kill each other as fast as possible and kind of lay low, and then you come out in the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Taylor, you ready for the Elden Ring? Yeah. Also, to yeah. um answer a question in chat, uh, Gene is playing right now. And he's doing a great job. He's the person handling um, our review of the game. And so he has uh, become quite good. It's, it's fun to watch. Because when I play, I'm definitely not this good. Yeah, Gene, you are extremely good. I, I mean, I beat a tutorial, but, you know. Yeah, but you beat it, like, impressively. Yeah. I mean, I would have gotten hit a lot more than that. And I would have been like, okay, folks, that's just the start of the game. Here's the famous meme line. Yeah. So Taylor, you're you're, you're a meme insider. Yeah. <laughs> you are maidenless. So that's become a meme. Uh, this game basically tells you that you have no women. <laughs> <laughs> Struggles. <laughs> it's, it's it's a really harsh reality. <laughs> And then we are, fa are are fated to fade into obscurity. For you, Sounds about right. This is beautiful, by the way. Like, what a beautiful game. Mm -hmm. but, you know, it's one of these things where I, I think it's really a triumph of art design, right? Mm -hmm. Because, like, there are a lot of video games that try to be try to look really realistic in ways that are, you know, I mean, they're impressive for a moment, but they don't age very well. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this kind of a look, like, no other game really looks quite like this. Mm -hmm. And like, I mean, any any like screenshot of this game or whatever, you can just kind of instantly identify it. And I, I think there's a lot more value in that than just like hyper realistic graphics. All right, Taylor, where should we go? I'm gonna look out into the horizon. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's keep going to like by that church and stuff. Smart idea. No. Tree Sentinel. Let's do it. Let's do yeah. it. Should, 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 <laughs> should, we fight, should we fight the knight in the way of the church, or should I get go around it? No, just go to the church, because he's just doing his thing. That's so okay. smart, Taylor. That's really good. Yeah, that, is, so, that is the correct decision. I'm, I'm, extre I'm extremely, extremely happy with, with how this, this playthrough is going. I mean, we're, we're, just, we're just trying to find Jesus, you know? Yeah. yeah. We're just trying to find God find in, in order to... Uh, Repent from our sinful ways. Keep him in sight. Make sure he didn't see us. Oop. And I think we're good. All right. We're I, at um, the I super cheesed him the other day, by the way. I, I did that because there's a, um, so Taylor, there's a way you can beat that boss without him ever hitting you, which is just, a, you can go stand on like a ruin over here and hit him with like long range magic and he just can't climb. So he'll just like, what he does is he like comes next to what you're on and like runs into it over and over, then like disappears and reappears back at the top of a hill and just rinses and repeats this until he's dead. Um, you're not supposed to do it that way, but that's what I did. Sounds like a Taylor move, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's this little guy? Uh, we can buy crafting items for him, which I'll do. And that's about it, really. Goodbye. All right. All right. Yeah. Some of those guys, you, you encounter a bunch of those guys throughout the game, and uh, some of them even like play music when you're approaching, which is fun. They they're just like playing little songs. All right, where should we go, Taylor? Um, let's keep going, going forward. Okay. Where where, where where's the goal to get to? Uh, the goal is uh, not we can't see it this is the full this is not even the full map this is just what we've been kind of able to see the goal is like even farther like above the blacks the the, the, oh. the dark the darkness mm -hmm. so, so basically, basically. <laughs> where we're, where we're meant to be 
Okay. Okay. All right. The, 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 we can we can mainline the uh, the two storm veil. Uh, the, the, do you want to follow the light? Yeah. 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 All right. Let's follow, follow the, light. the light. Let's do it. Let, let, let's just see how far we can go. Wait. I don't know. Maybe am I making the wrong decision? No. 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 That's okay. There, there, there is no mm -hmm. wrong decision. Yeah. No. There. There very much is no wrong decision, which is what okay. makes this game really good is you can kind of just make your own way through it and like the uh, a lot of games are very like harsh in the way they push back on you like trying to go past where you're supposed to like they'll have invisible walls or they'll just like you know be like no you can't do that sorry and this game does it a lot more like subtly you'll just kind of you know ultimately hit a point where things start wrecking you really hard like harder than is reasonable mm -hmm. and then it's like okay maybe i shouldn't be here but if you want to you still can you, you can still keep going anyway. Like, you can find your own sort of ways to get past stuff that maybe you shouldn't be able to. Um, yeah, it's really fun to explore. We're going to put... Taylor, we're, the, 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 are you familiar with MUD or multi-user dungeon? Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to play this like a MUD. I'm going to stop every once in a while and ask you where to go. So I see a cave <laughs> to the left of us. Uh, do we want to keep going forward or do we want to go into the cave? No, let's keep going forward because we already went into the cave in the beginning. Okay. We, we can just play this like a uh, like a text adventure. You can be like quest. Exactly. West. Quest. Quest. West. Yeah. No, but yeah, North. I'm also West. like I speed run <laughs> through like every game, so like I don't know if maybe I'm missing like some. That's good. Key. That's good. We're we're playing the way Taylor would, except the, with my sword skills. So, all right. So. <laughs> oh man, here we go. The, do we want to go into this f fort of soldiers and explore it, or do we want to head straight to the the, the castle? I think eyes on the prize. Let's get castle, and right, then we can explore later in the castle. Okay. Eyes on the prize. Let's go to the castle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, I'm 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 already starting to sweat, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm Wait, just excited what? about what's about to happen. No, that's okay. That's okay. The the the, the, the let's keep li li living with the decision. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. No. The, this is the fun of it, right? Well, this is yeah. content. And the other thing is, like, so compared to other games, Elden Ring is very, like, permissive of, and encouraging of death. Mm -hmm. it, it is very much like, you know, I mean, we can't really curse on this stream, but it's uh, the F around and find out game. Mm -hmm. So So when you die, you don't have to start again? Uh, you yeah. can start nearby where you died, mm -hmm. but you lose all your experience points and you have to go back to where you died to pick them back up. Otherwise, yeah, but... if you die again before you pick them up, then you lose all your progress or you lose your experience points. Right. Yeah, you, you lose your collected, but experience points are more like a currency. Yeah. And so, so if it's, you get it's... enough, you spend them on a level up. You don't lose that ever. If you've leveled up, then you keep that. Exactly. You, you just lose whatever you're holding at the time. Yeah. So um, it's, smart it's to a just relatively minor up. penalty. So that's what we're going to try to do to, to try to survive where we're heading right now. Because she's going to be playing the role of Maiden. Uh, yeah. We just got a Maiden. That's right. At I mean, last. we didn't even have to really do anything for that. Finally, finally. <laughs> my, my, my parents will be proud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, have you heard of the fingers? <laughs> God. Oh, man. Yeah, I... Yeah, I know. <laughs> what did somebody say? Uh, she said, you, I'm afraid, are maidenless. All right. And Jean Except. was like, I know. But now, no longer. Oh, there you go. So we, so you got a horse now. You got a horse goat now, Taylor. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, Ma Max Wolf in chat just said she's offering a Honda Accord. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, can we level up? Oh, wow, I got no levels. I got, I got no levels, levels but one maiden. All right, so here's a hot trick for you guys for uh, for uh, hotkeying um, the, the horse. Because a lot of people like to put the horse in equipment and then putting down here, right? Oh, God, no. Who does that? No, you put it on your little quick menu. Yes, exactly. Yeah. A lot of people oh, keep yeah, doing that, right? But no, no you put dear it, God, what? Put it, put it on the you quick menu, the menu here. Put it up here. So now you just hold Y and oh, then you just call, call your horse anything. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because you also want to be able to dismount quickly so you can, like, leap onto things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Taylor. Should I go into the castle with the horse or without the horse? 
Now, bear in mind, you can resummon the horse whenever you want to. Yeah, so you can get really the horse whenever you want. So, yeah. No, we need the horse. We gotta. We'll you don't need the horse. Well, all right. Let's ride the horse in. Yeah, you know, like yeah. making entry. Right. Yeah, I mean, at, at the very least, we get style points for that, yeah, right? Yeah, like Don Quixote. You know, I'm just gonna rush through because. No, don't do it, Gene. No? We gotta. We gotta let it happen. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right. 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 All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. No, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I made a bad decision. So that's what happens when we attack the castle. Mhm. Ah man, what a good time. Yeah. Lesson learned. Yeah. Do you want to keep attacking the castle, or do we want to try the the, the, the the fort, the little soldier camp again? Where are we trying to get to again? Um, we're ultimately trying to get past the castle. Mm -hmm. So how do we get past the castle if we don't go through it? We can try again. Let's do it again. Man, that's more of a philosophical go question. It? We have to go through there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go through there. All right. You know what? Just get my stuff, get this piece of flesh. Let's you see know, if I can like outrun you know. everybody. All right, we're just gonna. I, I'm just always gonna... stopping to pick up pieces of flesh. That's just run away. Run yeah, okay. We're doing yeah. what Taylor wants, which is running away. We're dodging all <laughs> the, all the the arrows and everything. Oh, ee, ee. yeah. A a great thing about these games in general, about Souls games, is that I mean, like people have made an entire play style of just running. Yeah. I mean, like you can do it. It's very, it's yeah. very dicey. Yeah. And this like sometimes weird. it's just oh, a matter oh, of luck, oh, but oh, it can be done. Oh, 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 oh. We're, we're, we're yeah. gonna play this like we're gonna play this like Uncharted right now. This is this is just. I mean, wait, let me fresh. let me do. I can add some Nathan Drake stuff. Oh my god! No 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 no! <laughs> yeah 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 yeah! This is this is the Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake as narrated Nathan, by Nathan the, the, Grayson. The Nathan Grayson. The, uh, the, the Nathan, Nathan Square Drake. experience. Yeah, the Nathan. My new Square radio experience. show. No, 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 no. Nathan oh, and Nathan the... in the morning. No, oh, that was close. Yeah, you did it. Wait, there there should be a side of grace around here, yeah? Oh, here, here's a bunch of dogs. <laughs> the falling wolves. Oh, oh no, oh great. no. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Get him, get stop. him, get him, get him. Get stop, him. stop, 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 stop. Drink, drink, drink. Oh man. We're coming, you were like. I, I forgot how close proximity the, the falling wolves and falling troll were. Mm hmm. Oh no. Yeah. Dude. All right, you know what? I'm just going to be safe. Yeah, probably a good call. There the side we of go. grace is right there. Like, come yeah. on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just to make things a little bit clearer, Taylor, um, the, the way that the game kind of guides you through its main path are these little golden sites. And so if you touch one, then that becomes your new spawn point. So if you die, you'll just go to there. And um, you'll notice that they have this little, like, kind of trail wafting off of them. And uh, that sort of points you in the general direction of where you want to head for the next one. Oh, we can level up. All right. Um, you know what? I'm just going to level up on, my, on our own. Get some, get some intelligence in there. <laughs> and I'm going to get our little jellyfish friend. Yes. You know, actually, okay. I am. Um, I still don't have the jellyfish because I didn't see this person, mm -hmm. and then like if you progress far enough without talking to them, they disappear. Mm -hmm. And so now I don't know where to. Can you buy the jellyfish somewhere? I honestly don't know. I think I think you just lost the jellyfish. Man, that's terrible because the jellyfish is like really good, right? It's really, really good. The, the jellyfish will last you for for a long time in the in the game. I I've what just been leveling my wolves. The wolves is good too. I, the, the the wolves kept me going for a while too. Nice. What does jellyfish do? Uh, yeah, we have a friend. We have a little friend. So every time mm -hmm. I fight a big, big, uh, scary enemy, I can summon je the jellyfish to help me. Mm -hmm. so and it's like, a, it's like a ghost jellyfish. And head up the castle. Which then answers a very pressing question in my mind. Do jellyfish have souls? And the answer appears to be yes. Mm. All right. Uh oh. All right, you want to use long distance battle, huh? Oop. Okay. All right. Closing <laughs> in. Maidenless, angeliless. Ouch. <laughs> All 
Yeah. That's good stuff. All right, pick them off, see? Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ow. The auto target did not switch. Yeah, the auto target can be pretty finicky. Yeah. It's this weird, like, balance between, and again, to kind of, like, talk about the appeal of these games some, um, you know, you'll see people say they have, like, perfect combat, but I don't think that's really true because they're I don't think janky. that's true either. I don't think it's true either. Uh, I would even argue that the, the combat is, like, okay, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it's more like the, the stakes of the combat, I think, exactly, is what makes people exactly. interested in them. Yeah. Because, like, mo most games try to give you, like, every chance in the world to succeed. Mm. And these games, you've probably already noticed, um, are the opposite of that. Like, as soon as you make a mistake, then Elden Ring and, like, Souls games will just catch you out for it. We'll just be like, all right, time to massacre you. Yeah. Now, Taylor, I'm going to I'm gonna do a little pro tip here or whatever, uh, but we are at a kind of a crossroads here. We can keep following the main road here. Oop, someone's close by. Oh, someone's, attack someone's attacking me. I'm going to hide here, we can follow the main road up here, but as you see, there's a road up here and there's a road up here. Which way do we want to go, Taylor? Left? Where are we trying to get to in the end? Um, in the end of the game or in the end of the stream? <laughs> to beat the game. To beat the game. To beat the game, um, we would have to go either left or up. So let's go. Let's try it. Let's go a left or up. All right, we we're gonna. This is now an Elden Run speed run, or Elden Ring speed run. Yeah, we, no, we can do it. <laughs> I just want to see like how far we can get. Okay, let's let, let's see right, how far yeah, we can get. Oh wait, we should we should read some of these messages though, because they, oh, we the should. messages are we really like, integral. I'm sorry. Part of the yeah. Game. First oh, off, yeah. ordinance. Because, also, okay. like if you guys know, sorry to interrupt. If you guys mm. know more interesting along the way, like. Everything oh, is interesting about this mm -hmm. game. That's 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 the that the thing that we, that if you choose anything, like it'll probably be pretty interesting to see. Mm -hmm. So right now yeah. we're approaching the castle, Stormvale Castle. You notice how it's getting all windy and everything. Yeah. All right, we're just um, gonna avoid. But yeah, oh. uh, Taylor, with regard to those messages, um, they are oh, yeah. well, the the joke around them. The meme is that George R. R. Martin wrote all of them. Um, that's not true. Uh, they were written by players. And so they they they're like meant to communicate helpful pieces of advice, but um, a lot of people just use them to troll. All right, yeah. L l let's 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 give a good example once I clear out these guys. For ex for example, because I do I do think that the, the messaging system is something that would be super of interest to Taylor. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. There's even a like system for it. So like yeah. you'll notice that each of the As messages I... have like a little um, appraisal next to them of how many Somebody people found who... them useful who likes like social media and like the metaverse and everything like so all of these messages right here try attacking like those are all like messages I mean, left by other all, players <laughs> and they they can only use like limited language so they can't just say anything they want to they have to pick from like words the game allows Ooh. them to use and so people get people get very creative with it and then oh i died wow the uh, yeah Similarly, I, I don't know if you saw that little, like, that, that ghost of a person right next to Gene earlier. Um, that's the afterimage of another player who's there, like, presently, too, um, but in their own world. Got it. So there's, like, all these weird kind of, like, almost social media-like multiplayer elements because you're not really ever playing directly alongside somebody, at least when you're playing normally. Um, but you still see other people's experiences and can learn from them. Cool. Oh, no. Why am I all the way back here? All right. Hey, yeah, you got ahead. Yeah, I did get ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You... No, this happens sometimes. I yeah. actually had this. Um... Oh, man, it was really heartbreaking because I cheesed like half of Stormvale Castle and like like did it by just running for my life and was so happy when I got through it because like literally there were like 40 people chasing me and I made it to a side of grace and was like, thank God. And then I stopped playing and the game just forgot that I ever went to that side of grace. Mm -hmm. And I was like furious. I was like, you cannot do this to me. So, I mean, I All guess right. it just does this sometimes, which is really disappointing. I think because I didn't see the side of grace at the at the, at the top of the at the top of the this area. So, all right, Taylor, here is a door. There is a summon <laughs> sign here. <laughs> oh my God. Um, should we call a friend? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should, should we, definitely. <laughs> should we call a player? 
Oh wait, no, I can't do that right now. Wait, can oh, I thank you, Max, this? for validating my strategy. I mean, I agree. Taylor, do you want to summon another uh, a real life person into the game? Yeah. Let's do it. I I feel like in a lot of I I feel like uh, Gene, you're leading with a lot of these questions. It's like so there's there are two options. One of them is incredibly wrong. Which one do you mm -hmm. want to pick? No, but. <laughs> I want to summon people. We're, we're summoning people. Yeah, we're going to bring in some. And again, it's sort of like limited, right? These people can't like travel with us forever. Um, yeah. But they can help us with what is to come. Yeah. And, and, and maybe maybe they know who Taylor Lorenz is and they'll be like, oh, my God, we're, we're, we're playing with Taylor Lorenz right now. <laughs> yes, that's what the, they, they'll find a way to send that message in the game. They'll write uh -huh. it on the ground. There you go. All right. Yeah, Stuck maiden. Um, yeah, somebody in chat said, wild seeing Gene run in here with 10 minutes when it took me hours of wandering, to which I say, <laughs> same. I did not get to this part until, like, a few nights ago, after playing for, like, 15 hours. All right, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a level two scrub. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, no, this other person's like, what have I gotten myself into? I know. Why am I, why am I teaming up with somebody who's clearly not ready for this? A, a journalist? Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. We got we got two real life people here in yeah. the game with us. So Good how thing. do you? But aren't they like? Why did I get sucked out of my game into this situation? No, they're, they're they're actually volunteering to help. So mm -hmm. yeah, no. There there are a lot of elements in this game that encourage like pro social behaviors. It's mm -hmm. like weirdly beautiful mm -hmm. because between the messaging system and like the kind of wholesomeness of that, and then like the way that people are willing to just like help out other players in their games. It's like it's nice. Anyway, Taylor, this is where you wanted to go, so. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I like this guy. And, you know, he's a he's he's a good guy. One thing that a lot of people don't know about Taylor is that she, you're a big horror fan, right? The only kind of movie I watch. Hmm. Like really? you like horror, you like horror monsters and like monster designs, right? Yeah, I mean, I like everything, but yeah, I like monsters. Hmm. That's why yeah, I'm. Game is kind of like I like the first guy that God. trains you, mm -hmm. that spidery guy. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the kind of like a lot of the enemies. Look in at how much area how little damage aesthetic. I'm doing. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. We have friends. Yeah. We got so friends to help. Um, this is the first real boss in the game. Yeah, this is the first real boss of the game. He's extreme. He's the tenth hardest boss in the game. <laughs> Yeah. And we're now fighting him now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, basically the idea is they made oh, wait, him very difficult my fish. on purpose. Oh, wait, no, I can't, I can't summon him. I'm out of like, magic. It's, it's, it's your first test, right? I know. And the game is basically saying, like, are you ready for the rest of the game? Oh, no. And oh, no. so, like, oh, they no. made it really oh, hard oh, so, no. that, oh, no. so, to, so as to encourage you to prepare and come back. But we're going to try to do that without preparing. <laughs> But what do you have to prepare? Just like get better at playing the game or what? Um, get stronger. Get better at playing the game and like level up some. Um, get better oh items, my better God. gear. Kind of no! just all of it. The, the game wants you to explore. And so like previous games in the series were a little bit more linear. I mean, there's still exploration to them, but you didn't have this giant world you could run through. And so oh. it's kind of the designer's way of saying like, you know, go go run around for a little bit. Just see what you find. Have a good all time. Right. Go. Let's go. Can you run by him, Gene? No. Yeah, there's a uh, the the doors are blocked, unfortunately. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, no, he's Mar Marjit's a, a mean a mean boy. Not not a friendly one. I felt bad. Yeah. But I mean, for for like being what level two. <laughs> That, that was, was pretty me. good. That was, that was extremely like, good. I was I wasn't really like knowledgeable about prepared. That. Yeah, Taylor, do we want to go back there or do we want to turn around? Let's get some let's get some gear and some other things so when we go back we're prepared. Good. Let's go back to the shack. I'm getting my hair cut today, you guys. <laughs> I need a haircut. 
That's why I'm wearing this hat, because my hair is just too long. Hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to take the reins for a bit and just, just he head to like an area where we can power up. Because yeah. uh, maybe the chat will want to see like how far you can actually get pushed push into the game. Because Taylor, you want to see how far you, you can get to the end, right? Yeah, I was curious. Yeah, let's, do, let's just go then. Let's just do it. <laughs> oh, wait, are we going to a farm spot then? No, we're 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 going to the next area oh, of the game. All right. Oh, we're gonna oh we're gonna take the way around. Yeah, I did yeah. this too. I, I yeah. again, I did not I did not kill Godric until last night. I just skipped everything, and I've like unlocked like half the map now. Yeah. So this castle has a big old king that I have to kill kill, which is not even that guy. Um, and you can just skip him entire. You can just skip him entirely. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can just uh, run around the entire castle because I could and do some bridge. fun horse hopping. Also, wait, Gene, you've got to show show Taylor the double jump. This horse oh, yeah. jumps, and not just jumps, but jumps twice. So here's the it's jump. It's one of the most impressive horses I've seen in my life. One jump, two jump. Oh, that's cute. It is yeah. cute. It's it's, it's look, like a donkey little, kind of. It's like a donkey. Yeah, he's a little donkey goat horse. You know, <laughs> goat, goat. That's what they. Goat. Yeah, it's a little goat. He's so cute. Have you seen a goat like climb a wall? Like, you know that goats can just, like, climb walls Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. They can just, like, move vertically. They are so crazy. Like, they're just, like... It, yeah. They go up mountains and stuff. It's kind of crazy. I know, right? It's like they, they couldn't evolve flying, so they evolved the next closest thing. Which is, they're just like, how do we move perfectly vertically without wings? So I didn't even know about this route until uh, streamer Peach Saliva uh, 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 just stumbled upon it. And I was like, no way, you can just skip the whole castle. And so, yeah, we're, we're yeah. Just yeah, saliva. Peach yeah, no. saliva. She, they, this was there. actually an area where like all the signs on the ground helped me a lot, because when I was going through here, I was still pretty under leveled as well. Yeah. And like all the signs were like enemy ahead, like look left, like look right, and yeah. it was just like okay, I can actually handle this now. Whereas, um, and again, it's just like the the confidence of game design to believe that other players are going to help each other so that it won't feel cheap going through something like this, it is wild. Like, nobody else is making games like this because everyone else is like, well, if I don't hold the player's hand to some degree, they're going to get frustrated and quit. And this game is just like, no, nah, we believe that, you know, people will be interested enough to stick with it. And also that where necessary, players will help each other. All right, let's make it morning so it's pretty, too. Here, let's... Oh, you're Hang back. On. Oh, I love that. Wait, this is so much better. <laughs> is it prettier, right? Yeah, why? We should just play on this one. We should. Oh, I have to go to the round table hole first. Hold on. Yeah. A business deal. <laughs> How do I see the chat? I'm just seeing um, on the on on the uh, on the uh, yeah, on the stream. I, yeah, I just have YouTube open in another yeah. window. You can also yeah. pop out the chat if you want to. So I just have rest. I'm, to my Discord I'm playing right now. Okay, I want to. So I want to talk to the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, be like in an ivory tower. Taylor yeah. Loren, Stan, Gene, I love you, cowboy hats. Thank you. I like I like wearing cowboy hats. I'm I'm very. Very uh, uh, a AM radio uh, host, the, the, the kind of way in, in that regard. No, wait. That, that implies that <laughs> FM radio hosts wear something different. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, right. yeah. Isn't this pretty, Taylor? Look at this. That's beautiful. Oh, man. Yeah, that is a great view. Also, wait, Gene, read the message really quick. I bet I know what it says. Beware of rolling. Uh, okay, beware of rolling. Never mind. We try jumping. Um, because usually... Another really fun like genre of message that people leave is just like they point out beautiful views. They're just like great view ahead. And then you can just like sit down. Like one of my favorite moments I had in this game is I read one of those messages and then another player's like ghost sat down next to me. And I was like, oh my God, we're having this nice little moment even though we're not actually playing together. Um, yeah, it was just really cool. I love that. Mm -hmm. Chat is telling me to go to Car Caria Manor. So let's go there. You know, Taylor and her little donkey horse. <laughs> let's take let's take the let's take the hood off. So let's let, let's just play let's just do fashion. Yeah. There you go. 
that one's better, right? Yeah. Yeah, look a little bit less like an Assassin's Creed character now. Exactly. Yeah. No, no Assassin's Creed in this one. Um, yeah. Well, the Dawn of Ragnarok just came out, and I'm mildly interested in it, but I mean, like, not right now, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, like Wait. you know, what was that, Taylor? No, nothing. I just I thought. Wow. Somebody in chat named Cucker Tarlson, which I feel like is a subtly genius name. That's actually pretty interesting. I'm, I'm, su I'm surprised I never thought of that before. I know, right? But yeah, take yeah Taylor the speedrun record is it um, a little bit less than an hour to answer uh, Stefan's question. Yeah, um, I actually I watched part of it on stream yesterday. I think the last I checked Very was like 49, 49 minutes, which is ridiculous. Yeah, it's wild. But I mean, they, they use a lot of uh, tricks, Give me right? the map, give me the map. There you go. The, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is, um, and th this is one of the reasons why like the horse is kind of divisive among fans of this game. Because I mean, in, in previous games in the series, you could not just like run past things to this extent. Yeah. Cause like yeah. I'm blowing through like a third of the game right now in terms of like, like square footage, you know? Oh, um, quickly. Actually, wait a minute. Um, so somebody in chat just said, Gene, heard you love karaoke. I also love karaoke. Gene, why have we not karaoke together yet? I know, Nathan, I've told you that, I, that I've been a big uh, karaoke fan. Um, dude, my, my big hope is that, you know, one, uh, heaven is real. Mm -hmm. And two, that they actually have a, like a really good metric system for like how you, uh, how you spent your life. <laughs> like, like all this data set of like, you know, like, like you've eaten pizza this how many times and everything mm -hmm. like, 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 a, like an achievement system. Like, right, like, right. like, like, you know, like, like you're at the end of the, your gamer stats by the end of the mm -hmm. year or whatever. And I want to know, I want to ask St. Peter. The number of hours you've spent on karaoke. Yeah, I want to, I want to know yeah. how much, how, how much hours I actually spent on karaoke during my, my 20s and early 30s. I oh, mean, um, because. Me too. I think it would be actually almost more than I, than I was gaming at that time, you know. But yeah, no, I, I can guarantee that, I mean, pre-pandemic especially, like, I, I was spending significantly more time mm -hmm. doing karaoke than playing video games. Do you, do you sing, Taylor? Maybe not for a video game reporter to admit, but whatever. Here I am. Taylor, do you sing? Do I sing? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done karaoke? Oh, it's karaoke. Um, yeah, I do, but I'm. It's fun, but I have a bad. Wait, sorry. I think you cut out for a second. You what? I have a bad voice. I have no. a bad. No one has a bad voice. Whoa. That is untrue. Oh. Um... I just need a computer charger because my computer's about to die. I think that's why it's being. Oh, okay, like okay. This. Yeah. We just got vomited on and I died in one shot. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you passed like a giant worm lobster thing that I had never mm -hmm. seen. And I was like, that can't be good. Hey guys, I'll be right back. I have to take a call from my editor. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> God go, goes yeah. over your IRL trophy list. I we, know. We've entered like Garfield without Garfield territory. We've got Elden Ring with Taylor Lorenz without Taylor Lorenz. It's just, it's just two guys just talking to themselves. Yeah. It's just it's just two Johns yeah. just talking to themselves. Just two depressed Johns. Now it's every now it's just every stream. Oh it's just every stream. Just two guys talking about Elden Ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we can also talk about karaoke. Not that many guys talk about karaoke. That's actually. true, that's true. So um I'll tell you a little bit more about my karaoke history. I mm. I'm I was definitely uh the, the the sad Asian man at the at the karaoke bar all by himself, just singing mm. karaoke by himself. Oh my god then we have a lot in common because I was the sad white guy at the yeah. karaoke bar singing by himself. Yeah, no, no, like the sad white guy at the karaoke bar is absolutely a thing too. And I mm -hmm. always got along with the sad white guy because we would like look at each other and be like, we're just two guys by here by ourselves, you know? <laughs> like, let's, yeah, let, no, let, we're, let's... we're just two guys here by ourselves and Elden Ring isn't out yet. So like, yeah, <laughs> Elden Ring isn't coming out for a few years. We don't even, <laughs> we don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> Um, I use I, I sing a lot of like crooner standards like Frank Sinatra, nice. Dean Martin. Um, I am um, actually oh this is wild. Um, when I was living in Long Beach, California, um, I went to a karaoke bar that is owned and operated by the nephew of Frank Sinatra. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was it called again? Um, it is called uh, Executive Suite. Yeah. I and yeah, it is a uh, karaoke bar slash gay bar. And it is phenomenal. They, they have really good sound. And then also like uh, the, like it was one of these things where when I heard that it was like, you know, operated by somebody who was related to Frank Sinatra, I was like, I don't know if I buy that. People can just say that, you know, you never know. And then I saw him and I was like, he looks exactly like Frank Sinatra. He's definitely related. And then I heard him sing and I was like, oh, they are a hundred million percent related. Oh, because they awesome. have the same friggin' voice. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, souls. wait, somebody in chat just said, I got thrown out of three karaoke bars during Cinecon? I don't know what that is. <sighs> wait, how I, did you get thrown out? What did that I've been entail? kicked out of a karaoke bar, too, but that's because I was trying to, try to start a fight. So. Yeah, no, that, that sounds unrelated to your singing. <laughs> yeah, no, it was definitely not around my singing. It was definitely because I was about to fight a guy. <laughs> but so. um, what, what do you say in that instance, that uh, you did it your way? I, I yeah exactly you know uh, I'm very much looking forward to the the release of Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin yeah <laughs> um which I think if you played the demo uh it confirms that the main character if in fact does walk into a field of wheat mm -hmm. and plays my way on his cell phone you know I mean I I feel like spiritually I've been there yeah yeah i, I mean, mean i've definitely felt that way before and if i yeah exactly like it might, might have not been my way maybe like the killers like like <laughs> all, all all these things i've done as opposed to my way but you wow. know it's a, the, the same sentiment right <laughs> but yeah wait okay so um the the people have a request uh -huh. and it is that they want to know more details of the fight that you tried to start at oh oh well it wasn't like 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 this dude was like hitting my girlfriend and then my girlfriend left because she was embarrassed by my behavior and then so like it, it was very much like like 500 days of summer where like i was like trying to defend someone mm -hmm. i was trying to defend my girlfriend and she was like i don't need the defending and then she left and then like the fight continued and then like i was like not like the cool guy in that bar so yeah. everybody everybody was basically telling me to like leave so yeah that's so uh... i didn't leave i just kept going back <laughs> Oh, you want to talk about singing, though. Here's, yeah. here's you guys singing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the uh, the singing bats. Those things are so weird. Oh, so um, scary. Yeah, they really are. So, I mean, really and interesting. They're... Because, yeah, you just approach them and they're like singing opera. Yeah. Like, what am I getting into? And you're just like, oh, are they friendly? No, they're not. Okay, no, I'm going to run away. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very squishy right now. So, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm running away as much as I can. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, the again wonderfully named Cucker Tar Tarlson asks, uh, guys, go to karaoke songs. Let's hear them. Yeah, you were saying crooner standards. Um, for me, I also like doing those because I have kind of a low voice and so mm -hmm. it fits my register well. Mm -hmm. Um, but Amen. in addition, um, I, I spent a lot of my life like singing pretty incorrectly until I learned how to do it right from you know just like looking up things on the internet and uh, taking lessons and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. so for a long time, I sang higher than I needed to. And what that evolved into oh my is God. being very good at like doing metal stuff and screaming. And so actually, yeah, someone just said Mars, Vol Mars Volta at karaoke is underrated. I agree. I, I will sing. I sing Widow from time to time, um, which I have to sing way out of my register to like do correctly. Um, but I still enjoy doing just because like, yeah, you can do some real vocal acrobatics on that song. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I do a mixture of like crooner stuff and then like rock and metal. Yeah, I would do like a lot of like, um, yeah, mid to low range, like rock, like rock standards, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of Oasis, never Wonderwall, um, <laughs> cause Wonderwall is just so boring, you know, like, 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 I like the song obviously, and I love Oasis, but it's just a boring song, but I did sing a lot of Oasis. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah. Beatles, uh, 1960s, like, 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 like pop standards, um, you know, Justin Timberlake sometimes, because his stuff is pretty easy. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the, the other thing I really like to do my, because like, I, I got so into going to karaoke for a while that I like got bored with doing normal songs. Mm -hmm. And so my thing for a while was to try to find the most obscure possible metal covers of popular songs. Mm. So people would hear like a melody they knew and be like, oh, yeah, I like this song. And mm -hmm. then like these incredibly aggressive guitars would kick in and they'd be like, what? Why is this happening? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, 
let's see, there are really good covers of um there's a really good cover of House of the Rising Sun. It's oh. by um Five Finger Death Punch. They're not a good band, but that cover is really fun to sing. Because you can do like um you, you can sing it normal for half of it and then go into like really like gravelly, growly stuff um and surprise people. Um because like I think that the thing that's really fun about karaoke, honestly, is that like you know, every performance has its own built-in narrative. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you'll see someone go up there and not have a lot of confidence mm -hmm. and then find their confidence by the end. Mm -hmm. And, like, that to me is more interesting than someone going up and just being perfect. It's kind of like Elden Ring, isn't it? Right? It, it really is. It really, it really is. is, actually. Like, 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 like you, do, you do start to kind of start to form your own narrative where it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm just not really doing it that well. And you get a little better. And it's like, you just have this whole, like, narrative arc of, like, like man like this person is just getting a lot stronger now you know yeah and, and people like to watch that i mean mm -hmm. I, I think people are much more interested in like come be, come from behind victories and like underdog stories than they are you know stories of just someone being masterful at a thing that they do mm -hmm. um and like yeah that's the appeal of karaoke is that it puts this very human touch on things that people have already heard performed perfectly yeah they, oh it's that fun that yes that was a fake wall Speaking speaking of doing things really boringly, like like I'm actually like bum rushing towards the best sword in the game right now. So, uh, Nathan, do you know where this is? Um, I don't. I have not been to this part of the game yet. Oh my god. Okay. Well, per this is the most cursed area in the game. Great. Cool. Uh, and if if you want to see why, we'll just see why for a second, real quick. I am guessing something's gonna fall out of the sky. the The game loves to do that, so that's yeah. kind of my guess here. Well. Wait a minute. Oh, I know where we are now. Oh, no, no. I hate yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I love that. Are those no. hands? Yes, they are hands. Oh, Taylor hands just, just, just right here. Fingers. Yes. Oh, yes. So oh, my gross. God. Oh, man. They, this is especially rough for me because, like, I um, I have a problem with hands in general. Like, mostly anything bad happening to them. Like, I can't... If a, if a TV or movie... If a TV show or movie has, like, a scene where somebody's hand is, like, gonna get stabbed or, like, injured, I have to, like just do that and ask people to like let me know when it's over so like hands with too many fingers i nope can't do it I hey like we got that. omar jimenez from cnn in the chat too what's up omar how's it going wow. man i got so nervous you guys i'm so sorry my editor was like can we call and touch base or something and i i was like oh my god like i'm gonna get fired or something like what did i do and then he was mm -hmm. like just wanted to say like you know congrats on a first week or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was like i have to go <laughs> hey, you know what i what i really love about working in journalism is that even when you like become pretty prominent and like have been around forever you can still maintain just incredible imposter syndrome you can still be like, all right this is it this is the moment when someone's gonna tell me i'm a fraud and fire me yeah because yeah. like the thing about journalism is that like our work is never like forever like Right, you know, you're only as like, good as your most recent thing. Exactly. So, like, you know, like, even if you had, like, a great story five years ago, it's like, yeah, that was five years ago, dude, you know? And it doesn't mean that you're not going to get laid off. Exactly. Yeah, like, no, even if you won a Pulitzer, you could get laid off. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter, so. And, you know, when, uh, when, when Mike Hobbs got laid off from HuffPo, I was just like, all right, no one's safe. Yeah. I can never feel like I'm ever going to be okay. Yeah, I do want a literal Pulitzer with a broke ground. There's so many things like that, though. So, yeah. like, so many times over just, I'm like, fuck. Uh, I love how Taylor is just, like, running through and getting the best sword in the game right now. It's so Yeah, cool. right. Wait, this is, I, I want to know why it looks like it's dark again, though, because I really like the daytime. Oh, yeah, I mean, so, it depends on the environment that you're in. <clears throat> uh, so, we're in Karya Manor, and they practice moon magic. So, uh, oh. uh, um, pe practitioners of moon magic, it's usually night. Yeah. Like twenty four seven, like Got like around, around where they at. Okay, makes yep. sense. Ooh. And then yeah, just in general, the uh, the game has like a day night cycle. Mm -hmm. So sometimes environments uh, will be dark, other times the sun will be out. It'll look a little bit lighter. Congrats! But I mean, in general, yeah, you have the sword of night and flame, Taylor. Um, wait, Gene, what kind of sword is this? Like, what class of sword is it? Oh, okay, yeah, Nathan. Is it just like it a regular sword? Is it a great sword? What are we talking about? It is a straight sword. Okay, never mind. I, I was curious because I wanted to know if I should go and get it, but I'm yeah, not going to. you need int twenty four, faith twenty four, and strength twelve. So oh, yeah, I have no, I none understand. of the stats to, to to wield this. 
but it's incredibly strong even at my low, lower level. Uh, if you mm. look at the stats right here, then it would well it hits hits twenty uh, one hundred nineteen awesome. right now, but it will hit a lot more if. But it looks so pretty. Look at that. Yeah, that is a cool looking sword. And it has also, like a little. Uh, Stefan just correctly pointed out um, to our discussion about you know how the game looks. It's not Day Souls. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's not Day Souls. And then Sentinel said, Day Souls would be a great game about a vacation on the beach. I would play that. I would. Wait, what do the messages down there say? Are they just like, good job? Praise the beautiful. Something incredible ahead. Yeah, yeah. you got that right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Taylor can so now, now on her way to Now we're suddenly OP. Incredibly OP. Oh my oh, god. I mean, not OP enough to fight these hands. Yeah, not but... enough. To... Oh, by the way, when I first saw this boss, um, my or when I saw those enemies, my first thought is that I could go, that that could be my Halloween costume this year. I'll just paint my hand gray and get like a bunch of fake fake warts and fingers and stuff uh -huh. and wear a ring. And then otherwise, I'll be dressed totally normally. And I'll like go to oh. parties and they'll be like, "Where's your costume?" And I'll be like. I'm a I'm a boss from Elden Ring. Can't so you, tell? you just have thirteen fingers for some reason? <laughs> oh my god. I hate this place. I, mean, I already have my nails painted like them, so it'll be very easy to just do the rest. Like I totally get why people like hate spiders. I, I, like I'm not I'm not that kind of person, but like mm -hmm. now like now like, like this game is like, oh you weren't afraid of spiders then? Okay, well how's try this? Yeah. Time for a healthier fear of them. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know what to what to do now. <laughs> um, I I know what to do. Yeah. Uh, let's go try to fight the. Let's try to fight Marjit again. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's, get, let's get this guy. Whoa! Look at how much damage I'm doing with this sword that I can't use. Get away. I mean, this will be like the true test of the amount just, that we've prepared. We just and died. Taylor wanted to go prepare, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let, let's try a, a, a Margit, Margit, Margit the Fell Omen one more time. Margit, uh, God, we, Margit. I think we can uh, we can uh, call maybe call it a day for now. Yeah, I've got to go interview an anime VTuber soon. So. Oh, which one? Or, uh, or you can Mouse. talk about it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Iron Mouse. She recently oh. became the most subscribed female streamer on Twitch. Um, oh, she wow, did a, really? Yeah, she did. Wait, a, hmm? Wait what's your name? Uh, Iron Mouse. Yeah, she uh, she did a subathon like like Ludwig's. It lasted for the same number of days. Only instead wow. of being like How a regular. Did... Hmm? That last. How long uh, did it last? Thirty one days. When's uh, the launch subathon? <laughs> the launch yeah, subathon. I can't wait to... Yes, yeah. so I volunteer to sleep on stream and you know just run my life into the ground for a month to see what happens. Sleep streams. I mean, like, you know, one of our main business models is subscribers. So, you know, something something to keep in mind. Oh, yeah. Please, <laughs> please subscribe to the Washington Post. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's all we can ask. Um, one sub from each of you in the audience adds one day to the number of days I will stream successively. <laughs> all right. We got Sorcerer Roger here. Uh, and we're gonna try one more time. All right, Taylor, let's go. Wait, yeah, let's do it. All right. It's too far. I'm done. Oh boy. No, 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 you're not. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh wait. Yeah, our, our friend is. Wait, did you bring two friends or just one friend? Just one friend. I just okay. the NPC. He's gone. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, there he is. There he is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. No, 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 no. I missed it. Never mind, ah. run, run. They mean to screenshot. We're not doing too bad. Yeah. Again, I mean, like, while we got a good piece of gear, we're still pretty low leveled, is the problem. Oh wait, and, I did. Uh, put but this my is helmet. still really good for it being this low level. There you go. Oh yeah, <laughs> at least a little <laughs> bit more armor. Yeah. 
He does not get injured is the thing. Like, you can do anything and he's just not getting injured. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, 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 I missed it. Run. Oh. Yeah, you can do like a big critical hit attack to him when he's down like that. Um, but you gotta get like, get there at the right time. There you go. Dang, oh no, friend is dead, friend is dead. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Is the door open? Can you run through there? No, no, no. we gotta finish this guy off. Alright, take another sip. Ooh. Hi. Oh, I hate you! Oh, oh man. Oh, ah. oh my goodness. Oh my god, you did so well though. Like, I that was doing, very, I was very so close. close. You were close. You held your own for a long time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, the the like rhythm of dodging between those attacks is so funky. Like the the fact that he was like doing that so so flawlessly is mind blowing to me. Mm -hmm. Oh Max, you can't use the weapon skill when uh, without the requirements. No. So, I feel like I want to do that one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Or, oh wait, oh wait. Do you have to go? We can go. Oh no, I mean I, I, I don't have to do my interview my... until six or until huh? uh, yeah six. I have to go because I'm getting my haircut. Okay, let's uh, go. Okay. We're, we're, we'll, we'll sign off. All right. Yeah. Well, we're, Nathan's going to go interview. Taylor's going to get her haircut, and I'm going to go rest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think the correct way to sign off from streaming Elden Ring is, you know, facing a wall of failure. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. I want to get involved next. I want to. I need to be able to play. I want to play. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun to, 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 to backseat game with you. So. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is the beginning of a series. Every Friday, we're gonna like do a full playthrough of Elden Ring with Taylor. <laughs> Heart Souls. There you go. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, we do this every Friday at 4 p.m. Um, we also have a Thursday news show that's at 4 p.m. on Thursdays. Um, so yeah, we will be back uh, next week with two different streams. Until then, thank you for tuning in. Um, I have been and hopefully will remain Nathan Grayson. And uh, yeah, I was joined by Taylor and Gene. Say bye, everyone. Have a good weekend. Yep. Later. Bye.